All right, guys, what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a cover using Canva. It's free. Just sign up for get a free account. Sign up. It's free, and uh, that's about it. Let's get into the computer. So, uh, so we're in the actual back end. Oh, we're, we're I'm logged into Canva, right? I came over here to the left hand side. Uh, create a design I'm over here on this page and we're gonna be clicking on custom dimensions um, we're on this example we're gonna do a 6 by 9 by 120 pages um, I also tuned the last video that I made about um, KDP I'll put it up here somewhere um, I'll show you examples of uh, how to make interiors with Google slides now uh, I just figured out I learned the other day that so you can't make uh, more than two pages that are blank back to back they don't like that so um, the way around that I would do um you can put page numbers they it's like so if you can have a blank page but you have to have something on it so using page numbers in there would be a good way to actually so you can provide blank pages for someone if they're if you're in that niche or whatever you're doing in that niche so um in this example um we're going to show i'm going to show you so i'm over here on canva but we have to go back over here to uh uh the kindle direct uh paperback cover templates so uh, a very big Important thing that I realized in here, um, you want to choose, so when you choose your template, right, you're choosing your template. In this example, we're doing six by, six by nine, right? Uh, the page count, each page count, understand this, it's going to be a different uh, size, okay? So you can't come in here and just like, oh yeah, I can just make a six by nine real fast. Um, I'm gonna upload the same six by nine uh, cover to these pages. No, it don't work like that. You'll get it rejected because the sizing is off. Um, and I'll break it down right here in the uh, the Canva template and show you exactly what I mean. Um, it is so we're gonna come in here to so we're coming here. We pick the 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 trim size already, right? We're gonna make 120 pages, right? Uh, we're gonna pick the white paper color, download the template, and you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about right here. So we're gonna come in here, click here, um, come in here, and we're gonna check out the picture, right? Um, as you can see, so the bleed is uh, going to be the bleed here, here, the bleed all around. You see the, the like kind of like the red, orangish, or whatever kind of color, that tan looking color, right? So the bleed is uh, 0.125, okay? Um, so you're gonna be adding that to, um, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And then you can see that the spine is 0.27, right? Let me zoom, okay. Um, yeah, so, so uh, six by nine. Um, we have the template right here and let's go over it so right here and come over here to canva and this is also two guys this is free you can guys go ahead and sign up for this uh you're gonna go over to custom dimensions and we're doing the width right now going to be um so six inches right and then um, we're going to be adding the bleed which is a uh, 0.125 and then the spine is 0.27 and then we're going to be adding a another bleed which is point two point one two five so it's going to be check it out right now it's going to be twelve point one two right um and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about uh i know i get confused with myself too with all these little numbers going around and you're like what the heck is going on so it's be six plus so six inches so one the the front cover and then you got to get the back cover right plus six and then the bleed for each one and then this we're adding the spine on this one so 0.127 plus 0.125 plus 1.25 then we get right 12.52 now the height's a little bit easier right because the only thing we're doing is we're going to be adding the height so the height would be over here it's going to be 9 plus 0.125 the bleed plus 0.125 the bleed again and then we got we're going to come up with 9.25 hopefully oh, 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 oh. and then we got to see i made a mistake come over here to inches okay try and put that into it we're doing inches dang it <laughs> and then i'm sorry so yeah see i made a mistake so um, yeah, so you want to you want to put it into inches. I'm sorry, you want to come on here, put this into inches, and then you want to create new design. All right, and now example we're gonna use it. We kind of make this pretty quick. Um, I am going to 
what I'm gonna do, you can so you can use that. You can actually upload the uh, the template here. But for this example, I just want to show you guys what you can do. You're gonna come over here to background, right? Or there's you, there's a few things you can do. You can like add an element and then make the element just as big as this, and then put it black. Or if you just come over to black background, there's there's some cool things in here too. Um, come over here to background, go to color, and just put it black, right? Boom, simple. Um, do, 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 do. And then, so remember, this is so this is back and this is front page. So we're going to come in here to upload, and then I'm going to use a design that I have in here already. All right. And remember, guys, too, coming back over here, that um, we want to keep this inside the lines because KDP will reject it if you have it like way too big. So we want to keep it inside the lines, too, okay? Um, so, rec whoop. So it's kind of it's, you kind of know where the center is, right? You know where the center is. Um, boom, boom, bring it down. There's, there's the middle, right? Whoop, whoop. And we'll actually upload this too. I want to see what it comes out looking like, and I think I kind of made it all over the place a little bit. A little smaller where's that center right there right boom well, and now this is just for an example guys this is an example nice and pretty in the middle um also to like the positioning part you can mess with this too guys if you guys would decide you want to mess with it there's a little tool up here that's pretty cool you can center it right it'll center it right and put it right in the middle and that's where like the spine is that's the middle and then you just kind of just run right over here and bring it over here all right well I get I messed with it again. What do I keep on doing then? <laughs> all right. Um, all right. And then uh, what you're going to do is going to come over here to the download part right here. Right? PNG. And then you come over here to EDF print. And then you're going to download. And also, too, if you want to get a little bit more technical, you can also put something on the back, too. Um, and it's really simple too because when you have all your designs uploaded over here on the left hand side it's really easy you can upload an image right over here and then you can just double click on the image again right because we already have it downloaded you can just do it like a front and back or you just want to put a fishing pole on the back make it get a little bit more um, you want to put a little smaller too as well right and then you can put like a let's say if you want to do a front and back design like say on the front you put a like a lack is pull and then you just want to put a fishing pole on the back or a fish or something like that and then simple this tool is where this this tool does magic um as you can see um pretty cool um and then let's come over here to kdp right we we'll come over here to kdp and we're going to actually upload this just to double check and make sure that we have the correct information i mean well the correct sizing of course so uh, so i took about uh Took a while for this to populate and do everything. Uh, this is an example, guys. Okay, I uh, just wanted to show you guys. So we're gonna come in here to launch preview. This oh, so honestly, it took like about thirty to forty minutes for it to actually upload and populate. Sometimes KDP does that. Okay, so we're gonna come in here to launch previewer. Um, it just, it just, you know, probably maybe some of people are just uploading all at the same time right now, and it's uh, you know, I'm getting backed up, so it's taking a little bit to actually populate. So. All right, guys. So right off the bat, you can see that's kind of it's 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 almost there, but it's not it's not it's not even on your side. And uh, there's a few different things that you can do, okay, to perfect this. What I would do is honestly come back, go back into Canva, and uh, figure out the the center. Like you kind of got you see it here. You want to uh, make a template to where when you come over there, you see you have the, you actually downloaded the template. You can go on KDP and download the template. But uh, when you're using it on Canva, you're using the free tools. Okay, you're using the free tools to actually build up to get the pay tools that actually help you. You know, you can use Photoshop and all the other stuff. And people are gonna say like, yeah, you, this is like the wrong way to do it. But um, there's certain people out there that can't afford certain tools. You know what I mean? Um, and this is a free way to do it. So understand that um, work your way up. And and I'm a big fan of. Uh, starting like with nothing and then just working your way up in the business and growing and then actually being able to afford those tools to actually help you speed up the process and make you better at what you're doing so but yeah right off, you can see right here 
let's zoom in also to one of the biggest one of the biggest problems that I have when uploading sometimes um, what I did have but now I perfected it and I got better at it after many many uploads right what I what you can come in here and when you zoom in the um, this actual this won't actually track it so when you zoom in um, it won't catch this the, the quality check of this right here the preview won't catch it on the side right here on the right hand side sometimes you can see a little white space KDP will reject that so that's why you, that's one of the biggest reasons I got rejection sometimes was because of that and a few of my friends actually shared their share of the screen with me they're like dude I keep on getting rejections I don't know why and I'm like I zoom in I'm like look it okay you have to make sure the interior the number of pages that you have in the interior matches the cover so you have to make sure you have the dimensions right if you don't it'll show a little little white space right there and they'll reject it because it'll mess up the print when it prints and that's it does that so yeah you got to understand that you have to have that correct so on the left hand side you can see too I'm talking about like right here it'll show a little white spot so yeah um, yeah um, get out of here <laughs> yeah so basically next everything just looks good um, what you're gonna do now like I said too you want to perfect this you want to make sure you have your covers centered nice and pretty in the middle um, what I would do too is like you can put like a, a fish back here or you can put like a like get this little pole right here and you can put it back here um, this is just an example and show you guys how to make covers on using Canva and uh, doing it uh, pretty much it's free you know what I mean this is a free way I showed you here's a little little hack if you're barely starting off and you don't you don't want to go out there and buy no tools you can actually do this get a um, get your own template down get your own workflow going and start uploading uh, covers or start making creating covers using Canva um, so hopefully this helped if you guys have any questions uh, please comment down below like and subscribe thank you guys peace